Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a Minecraft console edition top 5 important features for title update 47. Today's video is a little bit different. Before anyone does say, yes, I'm on Minecraft PC edition because I can preview the features on PC. Now, if you do enjoy this video and you're a potato like me, be sure to thumbs it up. So as you guys know, the next big update that we're expecting is more than likely going to be Minecraft from PC, the 1.9 update. Now recently, console got the 1.10 update. It was missing some features such as like the Husk, the Stray, and some other additions as well. So the more important update for Minecraft console is of course the combat update 1.9. I've kind of picked out the top five important features that I think are very crucial that we get because 4J have a habit of introducing updates but missing specific things. Going back to older updates, we never ever got hardcore mode or amplified terrains, which of course are features of Minecraft. So I'm fingers crossed, hoping that 4J don't miss anything from 1.9 and hopefully they don't miss any of the important features, which I'm gonna show in today's video. So, some of you already may, may know what these things are. Specifically talking, this one is something that's gonna be a huge change for Minecraft. So number one on my list, in no particular order, is of course, the shield. Now I have a banner here, which I'll explain to you about in just a second. So the shield was a huge aspect in Minecraft 1.9. People were like, shields in Minecraft? It doesn't work. Now after playing Minecraft PC plenty of times in 1.9, shields is a very important feature in Minecraft now because of course the combat has changed. Now shields, this is how they're crafted. It doesn't really matter what combination of wood you use, but shields are just another defense. So for example, you can block um, arrows, which are a very important feature because Mobs change in 1.9 and in 1.10. They're a lot smarter, they're a lot more dangerous, and attacking them is a lot harder. Now, this is also a very, very good future feature because you can link shields with banners. Now, a lot of you have been spending your time learning banners on Minecraft Console Edition. Awesome! It means that you guys will have no problem when it comes to shields, and of course, it begins to rain. So before we were really interrupted then, you can actually combine these together. So the combinations are endless. Whatever you can make as a banner, you can make as a shield as well. So again, the crafting recipe is up there for a shield. Once you've made it, you can combine these instantly like this. And as you guys can see, for me specifically, we now have ourselves a Pokemon shield. And this is where it comes like really, really fun because it's competition with your friends. And I just really like these. And actually, yes. Okay, moving on. I'm going to skip this one and go into the next one. And that is, of course, like the combat change and the dual wielding. So if we like put this down real quick, if I put this down, um, if I can put this down, I want to duplicate this. I can duplicate this. Okay, so one of the other big changes, which is technically this one, what I'm going to talk about before I talk about this, is that you can actually dual wield these. So you can have two of these at one time, although only one of them is actually they're both useful. <laughs> I'm literally like a turtle, except I'm a crocodile. It makes no sense. So having two weapons in, in Minecraft 1.9 is one of the bigger things as well. You can actually hold two shields, two, two swords to everything if you really, really wanted to. So this was also a very, very big thing in the update. Now, the reason why I brought you guys to here is because combat completely changed. Now you may notice every time I tap, there's like a loading bar on front of my uh, crosses. Combat is a lot difficult. Now, I do understand that a lot of you don't like the combat update. Me specifically, I love it because it's a huge survival change. But there's a lot to learn about it. Now the reason why I have these outlined is because attacking, the combat, it's all different. So for example, each weapon, or should I say each tool, is now classed as a weapon. So you can see on here, diamond pickaxe, when in main hand, it's a 1.2 attack speed, 5 attack damage. The shield, sorry, the shovel is a 1 attack speed, 5.5 attack. So basically, this is saying that these are very, very similar, but they're also used as a weapon, which can take away a lot of players' health. When it comes to a sword, the sword is no longer the most powerful weapon in Minecraft anymore. It's now the diamond axe. So for example, when in the main hand, 1.6 attack speed, seven attack damage, going to a diamond axe, when in hand, one attack speed, nine attack damage. Now let me show you guys the comparison of all of these when it comes to the combat update. And we've also got some spawn eggs as well as test dummies. So as you guys can see, when you attack with an ax, you can see it loads very, very quickly and pops back up very, very slowly. Um, this is really, 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 really powerful. And you've also got a sword here. It's a lot faster, 
but doesn't do as much damage, but I'm guessing because you have more time to do this, it equals more damage. I don't really want to get too much into this, and then you've got a shovel as well. This is a quite a powerful tool now, like it's along with a pickaxe as well. The the class is powerful tools. And just to show you guys, right? Nothing in my hand. If I click spam click like this, it's gonna take a very, very long time to kill the creeper. And I'm just showing this as a very, very basic example. So as you guys can see, I'm beating him, and it's taking a very, very long time to kill him. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to kill him. You can probably hear me rapidly clicking. It took a lot of clicks to kill him. Now, basically in Minecraft, you used to be able to hit like this constantly. So let's just punch him a couple of times while I have the full um, attack damage, if that makes sense. And you'll see that's a lot less compared to what it was. Still takes a lot longer, but it's not as long, apparently. Come on, creeper, die. Okay, so that was still a lot quicker than that one. Because spam clicking equals not as much damage. And just to prove to you that it doesn't work like that is I'm going to use an axe. I'm going to hit him one, two, and three. And he died. Now we're going to do this with a spam click. So as you guys can see, I'm spam clicking the axe. It does damage, but it takes a lot longer. As you can see, it took him a lot longer to die. So the combat is a huge difference and it's very, very important for Minecraft console because it was such a great feature in Minecraft PC. I'm expecting it to be just as great on Minecraft console edition. So let's get rid of these. Moving on to something, right? This is the only confirmed feature we know so far for title update 47 or whatever update it's gonna be. And these are the Elytra, the wings of Minecraft. When they were first announced, everybody went insane. Nobody wanted these. However, when I say wings of Minecraft, you can't fly. It's more of a gliding sensation. Now you'll see on my back that I have an iron golem um, cape. If I had no cape on, when I put these on, it would be the exact same color of this, which is kind of like, I don't know, it's like a gray bluish. I don't know, it's got like loads of different colors in there. Uh, but you cannot customize these and these take the these take the slot of your chest plate. So you can't have these on as well as a chest plate. And as you guys can see, I'm a beautiful butterfly crocodile. So I want to teach you guys about these and how they work because I absolutely love these. These are awesome, and this moves on to my third most important feature to be introduced. So, number one was the shields, number two was the combat update changes, and I've done that. Uh, and the, the swords attacking and stuff like that, because to me they're important. They're going to be a big thing. So, let's just quickly do this. So, what I have to do is I have to fall, and I have to fall again. So, if I hit spacebar, you guys can see I'm now gliding. You can't go really up. You can go down and then back up, but you guys can see just there... That's exactly how they work. And I want to show you guys one more time as well. Let's just go a little bit higher this time. So you can literally glide. It's so fun. You can literally glide as, as far as you need to. You can build massive terrains in the sky. And it'd be fun to see a 4 j introduce like an Elytra mini game with these. They'd be really fun to mess around with. So they're an absolute awesome feature. And for me, they're the third most useful thing to be introduced. Um, and then we move on to the next thing, which means we have to go into the end. Well, I'm going to be showing you two features. All right, so number four, we're going to start off with, of course, creepy music. Do not panic too much because I've already killed the Ender Dragon. And this is what I'm talking about. This is one of the most import important features in this update. And I don't know what it is, but I have the slightest hint that 4J might remove it. Now, as you guys can see, we do have the, um, the end gate over there. Don't worry, we're going to go there. That's the most important feature to me. Um, Obsidian, and we've also got these. These are the end crystals. Okay, so end crystals give you the ability to rebirth the Ender Dragon. So, we have an egg here. We've killed the Ender Dragon. It's game over. What do you do now? You have to start a brand new world if you want to kill the Ender Dragon again. So they introduced a feature to rebirth the Ender Dragon, which I think is absolutely fantastic. You can keep killing him over and over and over again. Now, in the normal overworld, you can do this and put these on top of there. But for these specifically, I believe you have to put one, two, three, and then four in this formation. And this will begin its own ritual. Now, this will rebirth the Ender Dragon, and it's absolutely fantastic how it works. One of the greater, greatest rituals in Minecraft, you can see that it just, it's absolutely incredible how it works. I absolutely love this feature. So this is Rebirth and the Ender Dragon. And as you guys can see, we've now rebirthed the Ender Dragon. In an old world, the way it would be if you were starting a brand new world. So that to me 
it's probably one of the more most important features. Now, the confusing thing is about Minecraft console edition. On Minecraft PC, if we were to travel, say, in that direction, that direction, that direction, or that direction, we would make it to the end city. The end city is still in the end. Now, console version is very limited to how big this is. So I don't know how 4J are gonna work with this and this being the end gate. Now we should still be able to go through the end gate and I absolutely love this feature as well. So let's grab ourselves an, an ender pearl. Yes, an ender pearl. And let's fly our right way through here because you can't go through here without an ender pearl. Um, and as you guys can see, we are now in the end city. This is where you get the elytra, the wings of Minecraft. Now this is the end city structure. I can't remember, I don't even know what the name of this thing is, but this is super, super awesome. This is where you find some amazing loot. There's things in here, the shulker and stuff, which are important. So we're gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna show you exactly what it's like. We've also got the introduction of new foods, which is the uh, the chorus plant, um, which kind of like remind me of, like, let me show you guys them. Uh, is it Churus? This, they remind me of the apricots from Pokemon. I don't know why, that's just me. Anyway, going inside of here, this is the shulker, okay, this shulker mob is, I, we'll talk about that in another video if you guys want to see more of this. But going up, this is where all the good loot is, so you can find epic diamond loot because you don't normally find anything diamond related in chests. Um, and it's just an overall fun experience, these are the, I will talk about them in another video, I kind of want to talk about them all just in one video because there's a lot to take in. So we should find ourselves some loot around here which is pretty, pretty much the best loot you can find in Minecraft. I don't think there's anything that tops the loot that you can find in here. And challenging this end is very difficult. So we've got ourselves some chests up here. As you guys can see, diamond, diamond, diamond helmet, then breaking, iron shovel, diamond chest plates. Um, there's more stuff. We're going to go to like the pirate ship. I'm calling it a pirate ship because it looks like a pirate ship to me, which is this thing over here. Let's head over here and let's see what's going on over here. So this is where you find the elytra, which is the, the wings of Minecraft. So let's go down here. As you guys can see, they are right there. They're guarded by a shulker, and you also get some good stuff as well. It's not the greatest stuff that I've seen, but diamond pick with fortune three and efficiency, diamonds, etc. Um, but yeah, they're my top five features. So going, oh yeah, we've also got a brewing stand as well with a potion of uh, insta health. Okay, well you can't complain. So they're my top five features. You might have your own features. Concluding, what we've got, we've got in mind is shields. The combat update itself, the elytra, rebirth from the ender dragon, and of course this place. The End City, another challenge in Minecraft. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Have a great day. Stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!